Dad, watch your bro get G-checked. Bitch waiting, whole fam full of rejects. Where was you when your little bro was moving nervous? How do you run through the... Oh, my God. Now little brother get smoke. Are you hating? I hit 2 million views on my basement. Two told me, bro, let's go out on vacation. I'm still on probation, big bro. I can't make it. Finally, Queso has come back with another free act shown in today, today, today. After listening to Wiley's Idiots, I was too excited, bro. I had to run it back. Stormzy disappointed his first official song in this diss track. I'm ready to get to it. But before I do, I got something real player for you. Boom! My t-shirts, the KBD merch is out now. If you want to go get you a shirt, support the dipper and look good. Look at the shirt I'm wearing. Look at it. It's me right now on a shirt. Tell me that shit ain't popping. Go to that pin comment. Get a shirt. Now I'm done talking. But before... Break it down! Break it down, hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Hey, are you doing? Hit that subscribe button because if you don't subscribe, your granny is a dirty, stinking little bitch. We popping off, let's get it. Disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> Fuck me up how you said it just after I did. <laughs> Disappointed. What you got? Disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. At Idiot Skang Man, as far as this track goes, it wasn't it. Stormzy, he sort of came out weak. This is your chance. If you want to crush him, yeah, I'm dumb excited. If you want to crush him in this beat, you're going to come a little haymaker to that nigga ribs, cuz I ain't lying to you. And that's for everybody who wonders why the eyes is red on the shirt. That's why. Let's get it. Yo, I came to a show and moved to your brother in front of your dad. Who told old man just stood there pissed? Who told said, Pops, why you look so sad? Okay, okay, okay. I'm just being fair. And this isn't even a bias thing. I said before I listened to Wiley, I'm not going to judge him as a rapper off of this because coming in to judge or listen to a beef is gonna be different. I'm rating it differently. But what was one of the things I said for those of you who watched it? If you didn't go watch it, nigga. Immediately address the topic. I don't wanna wait till, till a minute 39, I think it was, before he said Stormzy's name. Bro, we, first bars. Yo, I came to your show. You know who he's addressing. Let's get it, talk to your pop. Let's get it. You're not blind. Yo. I came to your show and moved to your brother in front of your dad. Who told old man just stood there pissed? Who told I said, Pops, why you look so sad? I should've known better. You know I had to show you little brother I'm harder. Should've known better. Then you want me out and... Oh, my. And that's the... You know, that's the thing that actually made me like the UK. I ain't gonna say we from some places now. And I'm just like, I know how that disrespectful shit, but I thought I was disrespectful. See, we come for you. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. Yeah. These niggas in the UK different, but this nigga just went straight for his dad. <laughs> Starzy, you a bullshit ass nigga, cuz. How you go straight for cuz? That, that what you did? It, it's beef. What up? You wanted a problem with the God? Okay. Your pops can get it. You know, I just man just stood there. He's a hater. I said, Pops, why you look so sad? Like, should've known better. You know, I just show you the old brother I'm harder. Should've known better. Then you want me out on stage right after. You fucking prick. Going back to Rome will be something I think about. Suck your mama. Soon busted it. We don't say them things. I don't cut this shit. It's who. And you see what he's giving? He's giving you bars direct. He's establishing this is a fake ass nigga. And when I'm speaking, I don't know why. I'm speaking from the perspective of Stormzy. This is a fake ass nigga. Why was it when I. It showed you that you were just trying to use me as much as you and then he just discredits the entire argument Wiley makes in the beginning was don't act like you're bitter, bigger than me don't talk about numbers let's talk about art but then Stormzy said nigga where was the art when you was pulling me on stage and you was running around and you was he said suck my you know what I'm saying like big enough saying how dope I is was it not art then or is it now that because it has led to success you have you have been in Affected by a disease we call 
hate. You know what I'm saying? And so you can get it in many ways. You can get it from a hate a virus. You can get it from a hate a bitch. You can get it from drinking a bad batch of hate raid. There's a lot of ways to get that haterism into your inner spirituality, okay? As long as he's saying, you start, you, you start to sound like it. And so by saying that, you were using me for numbers. Either you were using me for numbers or you appreciated the art. Which one is it? Stand on it. Be a man of your word. That's what you do. It's like, that is why I like beef. It, it, it's, it's always when it stays musical because a beef becomes like a great debate. It becomes like two great minds going at it about fundamental characteristic thoughts, actions, beliefs that I don't fuck with that. That shit make you a fuck nigga. No, that shit make you a fuck nigga. And if we can, I'm better than you. No, I'm better than you. Uh, you don't rap as good. When we can stay within the grounds of hip hop, it is a wonderful thing because it's like the pay-per-view. It's like we've been watching. We've been watching Hulk Hogan talk that shit on the mic. We've been watching Hulk Hogan talk that shit in the mic. But eventually that nigga got to go get in the ring with Andre the Giant. And when and in that moment is some of the most historic moments ever. He slammed that big ass nigga. Storms are coming in, heating them up. I'm saying, Wiley, let's make sure. I, 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 I hate to make this reaction about Wiley, but it's, it's the beef. Wiley, this nigga is, is, is not pulling no punches. He done told you he was sucking dick. He done told you your daddy was a hating ass old man. Oh my God. Storms are chill. Wiley, when you come back, you better have listened to this shit. I'm talking like it ain't happened yet. But you better have listened to this shit, cuz. Should've known better. Uh -huh. Then you put me out on stage right after. Fucking prick, going back to Rome, release something. I think about suck your mama, soon bust your lip. We don't say them things. They don't cut the shit. It's all jokes on Twitter, all jokes on Twitter. And then I don't say the things. It's the flow for me because. This is the thing, when you are dissing a nigga to make a classic diss record, you still have to be rapping good. And when there's two good rappers, you just hope they rap, you just hope you just hope the dissers are good or funny or clever or whatever it is because you always assume they rap good. It's, but to make a classic diss record, you have to take that rapping and look at it as you would look at any other song, but then make it like a topical record. And the topic is how much of a bitch ass nigga the other nigga is. That's just fundamentally what a dish track is, right? Stormzy is just checking the box out. They should have knew better. There's so much energy. There's so many pockets, bounce, vibes, and shit going on that you're able to like, if this wasn't a diss track, still listen to this. And that's what makes the best diss tracks. Because it's like, you know, it's like the back to back. Like, that song is so good. Nigga, we was listening to the club. We was dissing Meek every time we in the club. I loved Meek. I loved Meek. And I didn't know, but I was singing back to back. I took a break the fuse down. Back to that, nigga. And if Meek sees this, I'm sorry, dog. But that was a really good song, Brian. Well, how was y'all doing that on me, though? Because I was, my ass, can't break me back to back to I'm still getting 80. I'll fuck with you, but I was your one song. That's it. Fuck your mama, soon bust your lip. We don't say them things. They don't cut the shit. It's all jokes on Twitter. All jokes on Twitter. Do you say the wrong thing? There was smoke from Twitter and a man them up. Oh! It's all jokes on Twitter. To the jokes on Twitter, now it's smoke on Twitter. Oh. Give it to this nigga, cuz. Pause. Give it to this nigga, cuz. You need to really break this nigga. You need to really. Oh, kick that nigga ass, cuz. You need to really get up and there. Shot, 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 and the animation in his voice, the highs to the lows, the bounces, he's selling it because music is still a fine art and it's a performance art, you know? So that old um, Broadway... That opera, the selling, the animations, the energy we have in hip hop is because this is a performance art form. It's because this is a culture. And so in this culture, it's just the greatest performance ever. It's a performance of life. But 
you show it. You're trying to deliver and make somebody feel a certain type of way. You say it in a certain type of way. If I want you to laugh, I'm like, I'll be the motherfucker. You know what I'm talking like? If we joking, we tell like how we talk, we joking. If I want you to be scared, nigga, I'm like, what the fuck did you say to me, nigga? Is, are you stupid? Are you dumb? You know what I mean? If I want you to, if I want you to really listen to me, I'm a. Are you sure that's the best way we should go about that, bro? Just honestly, let's think about it. Do you think that is the best way we should go about it? There's the way that, it is the performance of life. It is necessary, is needed, so that you can understand what I'm trying to tell you because words coming out of your mouth are just a means of communication. So to hire the communication, amplify the communication, I also give it to you in what I am. You can see that I'm serious. You can hear that I'm serious. So your brain can, can feel it better. Music is life. And I love when you're able to take those things. You're able to apply a thought that is applicable to music and realize that this is applicable to my life. Maybe if you just, hey, how you doing? If you talk like that all the time, shorty, I don't know if you're mad. I don't know if you're sad. I don't know if you're hungry, bitch. I don't really even want to hear you talk no more to boring ass. Maybe you should if you want to play. There's no more, you hear me? Put a little little money like Stormzy. I mess over the cobos with you. Crack and cut don't know no killers don't make two jay because you ain't no jigger. Mention my name for the clap go figure. Know them niggas from the south so real as well. I ride he's a prick. I love talk shit then he sobers up and then begs it. Begs it. I'm so big. 50 seconds in, your name got called out. <laughs> this nigga Stormzy dummy disrespectful. You know... I didn't, I, I, this, I'm watching this, you know, this was from the past, but I've seen newer Stormzy and then like when you look at Mel made it and it's like, it, this doesn't take from his greatness or who he is as a man, but it just shows that we all have a very large range of emotions. It's, and, and things that make us up, you know, I always say I love Tupac because he can make hit him up or he can make Brenda had a baby. He can make, I get around and he can make changes. I just love that somebody could travel that much range because nobody is one thing. There's so many different things that make us. But looking at Stormzy, that he has that edge because that, that oomph, I believe that you need in life. And I believe that, you know, this culture, life, communities, areas, things like that breed it into some people earlier or harder than even necessary. But... To some degree, it is needed because look what happens. If he didn't have that, Wiley would have just got to play with him. 50 seconds in, this don't even look, I ain't it, boy. You think I'm going to wait to the end to tell you it's 1-0? But he beating the fuck out of him. I just want to see if he beat him to the point where Wiley can't respond. Because I ain't going to lie, if he beat him good enough, I'm done with this whole shit. Flawless victory. If I can see you talking about nigga, that we say this is a competition at this point. Come on, unless does Wiley come back better? I think y'all did say what his AGF two was better, but who compared to this? And two J, cause you ain't no jigger. Mention my name for the clout, go figure. Know them niggas from the south, so real, so real. I ride, he's a prick, I love talk shit, then he sobers up and then begs it. Begs it. I'm so big that the only thing bigger than me last year was Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> So now he's saying, and that is the one great thing. There's an art to it. You know, a lot of times people will use people's success almost as if it's a bad thing. Nigga, there's nothing wrong with being hot. It's not like Stormzy sold out. It's not like Stormzy ain't have our black uncle at the barbecue over there. You saying, bull? Come on, come on. To be busy, breakfast, three smokes to come get this. Disrespect, we don't get this. The old man's got a death wish. The old man, you regret this. All right, then challenge accepted. Smoke and slap, and the brothers I slept with. Wiley, lay off the crack, I don't like that. Online talk to smack, I don't like that. You told me suck your mum, I don't like that. See, when I slap your face, you best fight that. Kevy is the head out now, so go buy that. They say that I'm pop, I don't mind that. All you pussy words, you say thank you. True, say I'm the one who put crime back. The boy is just way too annoying. Yes. And I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. It's the first time I was going in the toilet. But there's more to come, I won't spoil it. Still got smoke. Oh, there's more to come, you are okay. 
Okay, I had to know. I had to know because he's clapping this nigga up. He's clapping this nigga up. Wiley. She, and, and that's the thing. I love when you do that let eight mile. It's like, because shout out to our UK plug. You know what I'm saying? I love when you do the little eight mile like, you, things you might use against me. Let's just put them out on the table. Are they really that bad? Can, I can deal with my reality. Can you deal with yours? That's the real, dang, that's real deal shit. So he's like, okay, y'all say I'm pop. Nigga, I brought grime back. If I am one of the biggest artists in the UK, if not the biggest, you know, rap scene wise, and I came up with origins and grime, what does that do? A person from America who stumbles upon Stormzy, I become interested in grime, right? I'm, oh, what, what is that? As I become, learn about him. Or as I learn about the UK. Slowly I learn about the origins, just learn about the history. You have to always remember that there's a difference between the industry of music and the mu and music. And Stormzy is just saying, I have a better understanding of this. Why, why, why? Or is there something wrong with it? You know, like if this nigga got a song with my fucking Mariah Carey, what's wrong with that? Are you listening to his rapping ability? Why can't he? Stormzy isn't someone who got just propelled to the top without talent. I don't know how he got there, but without talent, the talent matched. So if you look at a person like Jay-Z, yeah, there's probably been billions of dollars put into creating Jay-Z into being Jay-Z, but it was more than worth it because the talent was worth it. The talent of Stormzy was worth it. So it's, I don't really even like the idea of talking numbers, talking about your pop, you sold out. Just we're rapping right now, rap better than me. And I love this, this nigga Stormzy's cleaning it up. Jay, so I'm guessing it's me next. Your dad watch your bro get G check. Bitch waiting, whole fam for the region. Where was you? His daddy watched his son get G. Y'all Oh, we on some cool shit. Mine, come on. Come on. Come on. So bro was moving nervous. nervous. You told me he deserved it. <clears throat> get started on Jay, so I'm guessing it's me. It's your dad watch your bro get G-check. Bitch waiting, whole fam for the reject. Where was you when your little bro was moving nervous? How do you run through the... Oh, my God. A little brother get smoke. <laughs> is the most disrespectful nigga of all time. <laughs> this nigga that boy he keeps spinning that block on his daddy, don't he? <laughs> Stormzy. Storm. <laughs> Stormzy can't stand this nigga back at all. Gave me the award. Goes to Stormzy. For really saying fuck that nigga dad. Now I don't know what the dad did. I'm not saying that. But gave me the award, cause you a funny ass nigga, cuz. <laughs> Wait, little brother, little brother a bitch too. Hold on, I ain't saying that. I'm just wanna know. Bitch waiting, whole time for the region. So where was you? When your little bro was moving nervous. You told me he deserved it. No respect for you, you ain't earned it. I'm big mic and I sing and rap. The hate You told a nigga your brother got Oh, you wily! And don't they say don't throw stones if you live in a glass house? It be the niggas living in a just piece of glass that be throwing the boulders, ain't it? Nigga living in a mirror throwing cinder blocks. Why? You know you told this nigga this. You know you told this nigga he would dope. You know you told him. Why you beefing with him? Why you beefing with him? If you tell someone there's dope, they're dope, then they go on to succeed, you weren't wrong. Now you told a nigga he was dope, nothing happens of it. He might have been dope, or you might have been wrong. But if he goes on to succeed, he was dope. Why well, does it switch? Bitch ass nigga. That's why I don't do this track. Nigga be getting me too fired up. I'll be believing the nigga on me. I heard good enough. Nah, be, because he really said it was a conviction now. Nah. 
You deserved it. No respect for you, you ain't earned it. I'm big mic and I sing and rhyme. They hate when I sing, but I give them time. Number one in this thing of mine. That's what makes it the king of rhyme. So, boom. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie that that the flaw at the end could have been composed differently, but I mean better, but I do like the sentiment. I like that he's not backing down from his guns. I like that he's not running from it. It would be like if someone in the streets had a problem with me and they like, nigga, you ain't on the YouTube. Yeah, actually, I'm on YouTube like three times a day. I'm trying to be sometimes, you know, I get busy, but you know what I'm saying? Why would I run from it? Only a clown would go. Nigga, I ain't no YouTube nigga. You, boy, you got like 400, 500, 600 uploads, dog. What you talking about? Mike got a thousand. I don't even know. You be on here a lot. So I love when people embrace what they are, even if you just don't understand it. Don't don't insult me for what I am. If it's good, if it's working, nigga, be mad at me. But you and not. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Nigga just typing all this hate from the hood. Fun now. Within vinyl elements. <laughs> but I was certified. The creator's key. That was a certified vibe check. Nigga, because another reaction by my hair pink. Music video by my hair pink. Click on it. Show me some love. You watch these videos long and you ain't hit that thumbs up button and bought a shirt. You a hoe. So stop being a hoe. Can't be family. Love y'all. Salute. I am coming.